bilang sendiri. Okay. Ayo bilang sendiri. Good evening, I'm Aida Escobar, and I welcome you to the regular call meeting of the Library Board of the City of FAR on this Thursday, May the 20th, 2021. It is now six o'clock. At this time, I call this meeting to order. May I, we have roll call, please? Present. 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 Uh, do I hear a motion to excuse the absences? I move that we excuse the absences. Moved by Mary. Seconded? I second it. Seconded. Next item yeah, on excuse. our regular uh, agenda in open session, approval of the minutes for April the 8th, 2021. You have received a copy. Are there any corrections to the minutes? <coughs> I read them, they're right. <laughs> if not, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes as written? I move to approve. Second. It has been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say sign. Motion carries. Uh, our next item on our agenda, uh, part presentation of the director's uh, report. Welcome, Mr. Garcia. Thank you again. <laughs> Adolfo Garcia, your library director. I'm here to give you a report on what's 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 been going on since our last meeting? I know there was, uh, this is back-to-back -back meetings, but we need to get back on our regular schedule. Normally we meet, we meet uh, in May or in April, skip May. No, in May, but uh, we had some scheduling issues with this particular room where somebody else had to meet. So this is a regular month that we normally meet in May. In April, we had we, we normally meet in March, but we, we had a meeting in April. All right, so let me continue uh, just so that uh, we can move uh, expeditiously through our meeting. Let me put on my glasses. Sorry about that. It's a little too small. I can't read without glasses. So uh, let me go over some, some statistics on the library, the uh, DRC gate count. Of course, we're getting some, now that we, we're open, uh, getting some traction with our visits, over 12,359 uh, patrons that have walked in, the main library gate count, 53,298. We still have about uh, a few more months to go to the end of the fiscal year. Um, you know, I don't, I don't anticipate uh, going over last year's uh, visits, but of course, you know, we, we opened full, like in three quarters into the, into, into the fiscal year. So normally we exceed uh, 190,000 visits, uh, Unfortunately, because of the way things are right now, we're we're barely over the fifty-three thousand uh, patrons that have come into the library, which of course our our circulation is not as as much as we anticipated. But uh, we do have people uh, coming into the library to to uh, check out books at the DRC Library branch. Uh, we have twenty-eight hundred and fifty-five transactions, main library circulation, twenty-two thousand seven hundred fifty-eight. Um, Revenue at the DRC Library Branch, $1,464.69. Uh, uh, granted, we just started charging uh, in Mar uh, as of March 1st, and library revenues at the main branch are a little bit over uh, $8,027. Uh, cafe revenues, $982.25. We did open the cafe again. And yes, we are charging for our regular services like faxing, which is uh, very common right now since a lot of people have to fax uh, information. I do want to mention that any any faxes that go out to any other state agency, municipal agency, uh, that people have to communicate uh, for any so type of social services, we are not charging for those. So we are giving a break to those people who are in uh, are in need. So that's a way to help out our patrons. And our on our community. Can you repeat that, please? 
Could you move the mic closer to you? Yeah. Yes. Would right. you repeat that? You're not charging. Yes, uh, we do have uh, people who need to, need to fax to different uh, state agencies or or other service uh, agencies. And for those people, we are waiving, we're not charging, we're waiving the fee of regular faxing because that's just the way uh, to help out the community. But any other faxing, we are charging. And that's determined at, at the front desk uh, when the patron comes in and asks to use our, our to use our faxing services. Of course, we have a, we we offer all the other services like uh, scan to email, um, of course, regular printing. Uh, people just want a regular email to other people, then they're more, more than more than welcome to use the computers for for that type of service. Uh, as far as my bud the budget at the library. Uh, you know, it hasn't changed since we started back in October, uh, a little bit over $1.5 million uh, expenses, 790755 uh, dollars so we're a little bit over 50% at the 50% mark, which is around, you know, it's it's common around this time. We're about a little bit past the the halfway mark for, for the fiscal year. So we're, we're right. I mean, right on the dot as far as expenses. Recap, since uh, we last met, uh, we did recognize the staff for National Library Week. Um, we did off, we did have a lunch for all the staff members in, in, back in April. I think uh, the week, the second week of April, it was National Library Week where we we thank all the other patrons and we thank the staff for, for working at the library. And we offered a little recognition. We did have uh, Joshua, uh, from our reference department, who did win um, some water. He, he, did, he did get uh, employee of the month for the entire city. So how that how that works is uh, we submit a, a little employee report to HR. Uh, there's nominations, and uh, our, our library employee was nominated. We nominated uh, Joshua because he's very important to us because he works at the library but uh, he does a lot of he goes above and beyond when uh, we call him to do extra stuff there at the library for example the uh the archives room um he's, he's always willing to help us in in that uh, aspect so and he's fairly new right he's fairly new he's been with us uh maybe about a year uh another thing he's also getting his trying to get his master so you know we, we did recognize him and, and and put on there that uh, he's going to school as well and, and working full time. Is he doing library time? Uh, unfortunately, no. He's doing <laughs> masters in public administration, so he he wants to continue working in municipal government or state government, whichever one calls. But he seems to have a a knack for kind of navigating there in the library. And uh, whenever there's other important things to do that the city calls us uh, to help out, then we send people who we think are 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 going to help in other city projects and Josh was one of them. Uh, we, we also did uh, a proclamation for National Library Week recognized by the mayor for outstanding work that we do at the library. Uh, of course, uh, ERC time capsule, we did have a ceremony. I included a picture there uh, back in April. We uh, finally, the project is done, sealed completely <laughs> so that in 50 years, uh, we can go back and see what we're doing 50 years back. <laughs> we may or may not be here, yes, but we'll in the heaven. future. Oh, That's what I was going to say. Are you sending it to heaven? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have SpaceX around here, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> we did submit the state library report that has to do with accreditation. All of our statistics and and uh, the things we do as a library have to be uh, accredited through the State Library and Archives Commission. Uh, we submit the report. Uh, our our president of the board signs it. Our senior manager signs it, and myself to make sure all the numbers are accurate. Um, and then we find out in a couple months if we're accredited, and that helps us uh, with grants and other uh, services that that the Texas State Library and Archives Commission has for us. And it looks it looks good that we're an accredited library. I mean, it, it reflects well on on the staff and the board and the city that people that our city does uh, support the library, uh, primarily in, in 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 the budget and the collection 
and the staff. I also received a check from the from Idal County uh, from the from the county. Uh, you know, almost fifty thousand dollars that helps us with uh, pay for um, books, technology, uh, everything that we need except for it. Uh, we can use for everything except for staff, because of course that's budgeted through through the city. Uh, and every all, year? I'm sorry. Do we get it every year? Uh, normally we get it every year. It primarily pays for TOC, which is the library integrated library system. Um, it's the system that, of course, we manage our books, manage our collection within the entire county and allows us also the cloud library. So with that, we also pay the uh, the platform fees for the cloud library that the county has for everybody. Um, we also started the budget for 21-22. Um, we're looking at staying about the same. Um, as you all know, the city is growing, so our services uh, have to grow with it. Um, ho hopefully, uh, if, if we time it correctly, we probably won't spend a lot of money, on, uh, more money on uh, additional staff, but uh, additional uh, monies for the collection. I do plan on, on adding more electronic resources that uh, that we can offer to our patrons. Uh, a lot of things are going digital, so maybe our encyclopedias uh, uh, are finally going to go completely digital and, uh, and all the services that uh, some vendors have out there that we can uh, allow our patrons access to. Of course, they cost money, so we have to include it in, in our budget. So the planning is to, is to do it now so that uh, by October we can purchase those, uh, those services. So. Another branch library. Uh, I haven't gotten I haven't gotten any information as far as who who's going to manage that building, but uh, it is part of the budgetary process. And as soon as I know, I mean, I'll, I'll let you know. What about a bookmobile? Not at the moment. We we're looking at, of course, uh, doing citywide uh, internet services. Mm -hmm. So that's how things are gonna translate later in the future where everybody has access to internet. Uh, so they'll, they'll have, they'll be able to download a lot of the, the services that we offer through the library instead of having a, an, a, an actual bookmobile, you know, it'll be fiber to each home. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we'll go there virtually. <laughs> uh, last but not least, another capital project at the DRC cities in, in uh, in the plans of installing a uh, total building generator, backup generator. So if the if the power does go out, uh, we can continue our services at the DRC, and also um, you know hopefully we never have to use it, but uh, emergency purposes as well. Shelter um, people, you know, if, we, if there's a bad storm, people can go to the DRC to take shelter for, for 24 hours with with the power on all the time. Uh, yes in South Park at the DRC. So, no, not at the main, no. So, <laughs> it just, uh, the space over there lends itself because there's a little bit more open space in, in the uh, adjacent facility, the exhibit hall and also the uh, conference rooms are a little bit bigger than what we have here. Here is mainly, uh, you know, our stacks, our shelves and our books and computers. <laughs> Uh, that's about it for, for my report. I'm going to have Mike and our children's librarian, Daniela, come up and, and do a, a short uh, report on our upcoming events. We do have our summer reading program that's going to be starting. We already started this past Saturday, um, but she'll go over some of the details. Uh, exciting times uh, with, uh, with the summer reading program, welcoming, welcoming everybody back. I know school is almost over, so we want to make sure that all the kids who are going to be out for the summer are able to uh, at least know about our summer reading program and hopefully uh, register and get them uh, to read during summer so they don't lose everything that they've learned during the regular school year. Okay. Any questions? No? Any questions? Well, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, how are the, the Friends of the Library? At, at the moment, the Friends of the Library haven't. Um, them been uh, showing up, uh, not because they don't want to, it's because they, uh, they're a little bit hesitant uh, because of the whole situation. Uh, we do, I mean, I do realize a lot of them are, are a little bit are, are elderly, 
they're volunteers too, so you know I don't want to push them too much. But as far as financial support, they are uh, they are continuing with their financial support uh, to the library. They've issued a, a, a couple of checks for different programs, and I'll be approaching them for the summer reading program uh, support, financial support that they uh, support us every every year. Um, so as far as the store, um, hopefully soon it'll open, the Friends of Library Bookstore. You're still with the Friends of the Library. Yes, uh, we're still with the Friends. Uh, yeah, we, they, they, they will tell us. I mean, I'll, I'll tell them when it's ready to come out. Uh, hopefully, I mean, uh, now that the, the governor has uh, issued out an order to, you know, hopefully everybody will get vaccine. But as far as don't mask, hopefully now that will incentivize people to come out. They'll be uh, ready to open the, the bookstore. But like I said, financially, they are supporting us, even though, I mean, they haven't generated any funds, but they had some funds in the back to be able to continue the support. Yeah, we're very good working. Good yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Singletary. I'm the Development Research Center, uh, the manager over there at the DRC. Uh, I'm just going to go over a few of the events that we held uh, there at the Development Research Center. One of them being the time capsule. Uh, Mr. Garcia mentioned it before. It was um, a ceremony. It was, it was um, quite a few people actually went and, and attended the ceremony. Um, that's when they unveiled the, the capsule, or not the capsule, but the, I guess the, yeah. The, the one. Yeah, the sundial. It's a sundial. You see the picture there. So it's it's meant to tell time, as well as keep the as keep the the capsule inside away from all the elements. Um, another event we had after that we had early voting at the at the DRC from April nineteenth to April twenty seventh, with uh, the voting day being that Saturday, which was May May fifth, I think, fifth or fourth. Um, after that, the next event we had was the annual Senior and Community Health and Wellness Expo that was on May 6th. Um, basically, they used our exhibit hall and um, they set up um, tables for presenters and uh, different organizations. And they invited all the, the mobile home parks, the, the senior um, winter Texan parks, and uh, a few of the adult daycares um, to go and and the the people they got blood screenings. Uh, they had their their eyes and ears the um, eyes and ears checked and 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 it was like a, a day a day event. They started at nine a.m. and they finished at around one or two. But it was it was one of the bigger events um, that we had. We had a few. I say maybe a couple of couple of hundred people in and out. Yeah. Um, then after that, I just put uh, the Parks and Recreation Summer Activities. They're going to start up uh, in the exhibit hall. At the DRC, they're going to have youth pickleball and youth basketball. So they're going to use the gymnasium for that uh, starting this summer. And as far as the events, I think that's that's it for the DRC. We're kind of starting up again, taking reservations and, and things like that. So this is in conjunction with Parks and Rec? Yes, we share the building with Parks and Recreation and the Water Department. These programs, yeah. Oh yeah, the programs are, are Parks and Recreation, yes. Yeah, so they, Parks and Recreation, uh, they create the schedule and they're the ones that do the, the signing up of the kids. So if anybody wants to participate in these activities, they would need to call the Parks and, Recre the Parks and Recreation Department. And these are in summer, it's for the summer. It starts up uh, the first week of June. You don't foresee uh, having problems getting kids there? Uh, they're I, eager to go. They're eager to start going, yes. Yeah, they're 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 kind of ready to get out of. They're ready to get out after being cooped up the whole year. And then we will we be asking for them to wear 
Mm -hmm. That I'm not sure. I, 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 I'm not sure. That would depend on on parks and rec. I'm pretty sure they're going to be doing um, temperature checks and and keeping them, you know, six feet apart the most they can. But um, but I'm not sure if they're going to require masks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially doing sports, you can't. Temperature and the sanitizer. Right, yeah. Yeah, they can't be wearing masks while they're running because, you know, they'll run out of air and it's a different sort of issues. Okay, that's, that's it. Thank you. Questions? I'm just seeing, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing, I don't know if it was mentioned before, I, I'm just seeing it right now. It says adults and teens summer reading program. Yes. Uh, they're, they're along with the, the children's program that uh, Daniela is a part of. The uh -huh. reference department, the supervisor, Carlos, uh, he, he and myself, we're running a teen and adult uh, reading program. So uh -huh. when, you, when people, people sign up their kids, they can sign themselves up for the adult program. Are you all still doing sign-ups for the summer reading program? Yes. Yeah, she, she's, Daniela's going to uh -huh. speak about that right now. Uh, but yes, yeah, we're still signing people up for the summer reading program, mostly a virtual through an app. But yeah, there's an option there to to sign up as an adult or as a teen. So the whole family can sign up. can sign up and read. <laughs> no excuses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Yeah, now they can read a book. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Daniela Luevano, and I'm the children's supervisor. We have been very busy right now. We finished our summer reading program decorations about two weeks ago. They are gorgeous. You should go. We have like real, real um, animal, like real jungle drawing animals. If you have a chance, please go by. Uh, we have started summer reading program registrations on Saturday on May 15th. The registrations will go all the way to June 6th, okay? So kids have the opportunity to have two weeks to uh, sign up. The program really starts the 1st of June. Then it will go all the way to July 3rd. We will also be having daily activities. In those daily activities, uh, only two will be in person, the cooking classes and the art classes. The art classes will be uh, on Tuesdays, and the cooking classes will be on Thursdays. For the registration for the program, we have a system, a hybrid system, where we uh, tell our parents that they can sign up their kids for the program either online through our Read Squared app, or they can go in person. In person, will they have the advantage of getting a little backpack, the folder, some pencils, rather than online, it's totally different. You just sign in and that's it. Uh, for the daily activities, uh, they also have to sign up totally different. That needs to be in person and that needs to be 30 minutes before we start the class. So out of the seven days of the week, uh, only two days we will have them in person and the rest will be online, okay? And as you can see the calendar, we, we have this week in history where we talk about history. And then uh, on Tuesdays, we have our art classes. On Wednesdays, we have our story time. And on Thursdays, we have our cooking classes. And on Fridays, we have a uh, stream class, which is like, science and technology, engineering, all that, all that uh, good stuff. Uh, we have four main categories for the kids. 
we have the, the category for pre-kinder to kinder. We have also the category from first to second grade, third to fourth, and fifth to sixth. Uh, we uh, also wanted to include newborns and toddlers, even though they're very small, but we wanted to make a system that is very easy for the parents to follow, like placing a sticker and uh, in that sticker, they will say uh, what book they read to the, to the kid. That way you also encourage family time and that uh, that's good to read. Uh, other than that, uh, we also might help us out creating a QR code, which is very easy now for uh, for parents. You just click on, you, you just take a picture of the QR code and it will take you directly to the ReadSquare app. That way parents are, it's super easy for the parents to find the, the page. Um, other than that, I believe that's it. Um, in order to complete the program, I don't know if I, I, I forgot to tell you about that. The children need to complete 20 books. They have to read 20 books and complete uh, one lock per book, where depending on their category. So for example, pre-kinder to kinder, they just need to complete a join. So if they make a total of 20 joints, they have completed the program, okay? For first to, to second grade, they only have to write a sentence of the book, what they like most, what's their favorite character. The same thing goes for third and fourth, but they have to complete two sentences and fifth to six, three. And that will complete the program that will automatically take them to the party that we will be having at the aquatic center. And then our top readers, because we do encourage them that after they uh, complete the program, they continue to, to read, they will win uh, a special prize, a big prize. And that is it for me. Any questions? Mm -hmm. I see that the art classes and the cooking classes, are they only here or are they also at the... They will only be at the Fart Memorial Library, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we will only be accepting a max of 10 kids plus one parent. If the kid is six years and younger, they have to be in the class with them. Tell me about a cooking class. The cooking class. Well, we actually create uh, art cooking classes. So for example, we, uh, depending on, on the theme that we do per week, we made a certain cooking plate. So for example, the first week we will have farm animals because our theme, our theme is tails and tails. So we try to incorporate all the animals. So uh, for the first week we've ha we have farm animals. So on the cooking class, they do, for example, a we have a pancake that they do a little piggy <laughs> with frosting and and we have all already cut it, like pre-cut it for them not to get injured and everything. And that's what we do. I'm sorry? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we, <laughs> we have everything already pre-cooked and pre-cut it. We try to make the classes 30 to one hour. So like it's worth it for the parents to actually go to the class. You're welcome. Any more questions? I'm just wondering. <laughs> yeah. I need to go. <laughs> it's so nice that the parents could join the children that cook the food to eat a little bit of the cook. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's kind of difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Any more questions? Yeah, we, uh, all of our programs, like uh, Daniel said, we are starting here at the uh, at the main library. Depending on demand, if, if we, I mean, there's there's an opportunity to kind of modify it uh, if there's a demand in South Far at the DRC, and you know, there's an opportunity for us to, to kind of duplicate what we have here. But it, it all it all depends on 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 the parents and their willingness to bring their their, their kids to the library. 
for these programs. I do realize sometimes, uh, you know, they're barely getting back into the to the group of things, and and you know, some some might be hesitant to to come out. But we understand. I mean, you know, but we're open as well, uh, and we'll leave it strictly up to the parents and and our staff will will, will kind of uh, adapt if, if we need to. So. Thank you. <laughs> to impress us. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. And thank you for sharing you our, our, our... So well. Yes. You all try so much. It's, I guess, harder than ever because you're trying to attract all those kids back to, to the library. Because yes. That. And that's what we're, we're doing. Just, you know, trying uh, maybe different things and modify uh, our current programs to adapt to the, the way people are are doing things now and hopefully attracting them to come back to the library and to our programs. So uh, along those lines, uh, uh, we are opening up, uh, I mean, we are open a schedule as 100%. Our floor plans are, are coming back uh, to allow more people sitting spaces, uh, more, more chairs on, on our tables and slowly opening up more computers uh, at the library and at the DRC as well. So thank you. I mean, you, uh, I do appreciate you all sharing the stories with all of our patrons, our community, to make sure that uh, they know about our services. Any other questions? All right, and thank you for allowing me to uh, do this report. I know your your, your time is uh, valuable. I know that it, it takes time and effort to come to City Hall. Uh, it, it's very important for me to be able to talk to you and uh, vice versa, I know that, uh, yeah, it, it takes time and effort for you to come over. So I do appreciate you volunteering your time to make sure that uh, we, we, we do our job and keep us on our toes to make sure that everybody is, is working for the community. We are Team FAR. Thank you. Thank you. Item on our agenda is adjournment. Do I hear a motion? <laughs> I was impressed with the time. I really away. Are you? Uh, are you? Moving? Motion. Are you moving? Mary? Mary? Motion. Second. Second. Oh, two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> All, All right. in favor, say aye. 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 Our our next meeting will be a regular schedule. I think we meet every every other month. So yes. my staff will send you the invite, and uh, we'll meet here again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.